So in Wolfsburg, there might be big on fugitives running around the place at the moment, but they're not so big on memory because in Wolfsburg, they don't seem to remember the Phaeton. You, you remember the Phaeton, right? The ridiculously expensive personal pet project by uh, Ferdinand Pieck who demanded a spectacular car that failed spectacularly because he built a Bentley with VW badges. And what do you know, it turns out nobody wanted a VW at Bentley money. Go figure. With this new third generation uh, Volkswagen Touareg, it seems that history is about to repeat itself because Volkswagen has decided to go after brands like Audi, Mercedes, BMW and Porsche even. I mean, some of their own brands. And this new Volkswagen is simply that fancy. If you look around, if you experience it, and uh, from where I'm sitting at least, yeah, in the Alps, it's a 100,000 euro car. And put, put that into dirhams and you're talking mad money. So if you bring this up with the Volkswagen folk, you know, they're really not phased because so far with the first two generations, they've sold nearly, it's, it's almost there, it's about 2,000 cars short of a million Touareg sold since the first one was launched in 2002. So, you know, who, who am I to bring up the Phaeton? Um, anyway, speaking of which, everything you find in some of the snazziest autos, even some Bentleys, uh, you'll find in the new Touareg, you'll find things like all-wheel steering and air suspension, you know, uh, night vision, uh, massaging seats, and yes, indeed, friggin' lasers. Oh yes, and the diesel. Don't worry too much about that because this is all that Volkswagen had on hand at the test drive, a V6 diesel. They're about to do a V8 diesel as well. Uh, of course, we in the Middle East will be getting a V6 petrol engine. Um, but the other thing that really stands out in here is the ride quality. Even on 20-inch wheels, it's perfectly fine. And the other thing that stands out is just how quiet it is in here. You know, there's double glazed optional windows and uh, plenty of sound insulation. And an actual German person assures me that this is the quietest car in its class. What reason do I have to doubt the good word of a Volkswagen executive, right? And then, of course, because you couldn't have not noticed it, we get to the massive curved 15-inch screen here. Uh, very easy to use, very crisp. And because that wasn't enough, they put another 12 inches in front of the driver. And these are all customizable. You can set the screens up to how you like to display the information you want to see. All very nice. Um, as are the buttons, the switch gear. Everything feels solid, this volume scroll this volume wheel is lovely these things are nice and all the class a surfaces the bits you touch the bits you use uh, there's some substance to that and all these little details go a long way in you know justifying a very expensive people's car so we're in the alps we own 20 inch wheels with low profile tires plenty of torque from a v6 diesel is it an exciting car not exactly it's still a Volkswagen, it's still a crossover, it's a family car, and it just wasn't designed to be exciting. That's not what it, the Touareg is about. But overall, it is a properly impressive car, and if anything, it leaves me wondering how pleased those guys over in Ingolstadt are about this whole thing, because I can easily see the new third generation Touareg stealing sales from the Q7, maybe even the Q5. And that's before you get to the Terramont, which is the big US built seven seater. That's also due to arrive in the Middle East. So you'll be able to, you'll have a choice between this and the Terramont, which is bigger, but less expensive. Yeah, I'm confused too. Uh, they make the Terramont over in China and in the US. We'll be getting the US one uh, by the end of the year. But anyway, we're here to talk about uh, Volkswagen Touareg. Yeah, it's very good as it should be at this kind of money.